Hey, welcome back to my channel. I am getting right into it. I'm going to show you the three workouts I have been repeating all month first, and then we will go into further detail after those three workouts have been shown, just in case you wanna do them at home. I will have timestamps down below if there's a certain part you want to jump to. My first workout was total body cardio fix. You're gonna warm up, do each move for one minute with a 30 second rest, do the second move and then repeat those two moves. And you're gonna do that with all of these moves. These are surrenders. I'm starting off by having no weight and just using my body weight. To modify, you can push off of your thigh with your hands. They have weights in the video and I'm not using weights. Then we have a weighted side shuffle. I was very sore after this workout and I have a feeling I probably should have been doing about five pounds here. You're gonna repeat those two workouts. Now with the squat wood chucks, I had eight pounds. And by this point, I was already breathing pretty heavy. And I hate these cross country skiers, hate them. Modified, hey, we're jumping, I was stepping. Now you get to repeat those two moves. Hat had come off, it's really hot in here. I took about a two minute break before these next moves. The weighted jog. She said kick to your butt, but then when I was actually watching the people, none of them were really doing that. So I'm not sure. I was in between the modifying what they were doing. I was jogging at the same speed as them, but I wasn't kicking all the way up to my butt like they were. Another one I hate, the weighted twisted jump rope. These kill my calves. <laughs> they are jumping and I'm kind of doing a mixture. Same as before. I had the same motion as the modifier, but I added a little hop because I couldn't do the straight jump that they were doing. Lucky you, get to do it again. This quadruped crunch is actually probably one of my favorites of this entire workout. You're gonna do 30 seconds on each side. Oh my gosh, I don't think I have to tell you how horrible these were, but I did it mostly. <laughs> I think I had to modify the last 20 seconds into regular crunches. Repeat and cool down. So I have Beach Body on demand on my TV. I am using the, um, the 21 Day Fix real time videos, but I'm not following the program 21 Day Fix real time because they put a calendar and they really want you to do something every day. I'm not at the point where I feel conditioned enough to do that. So what I'm doing is I'm doing week one. There's a total body cardio fix, a lower fix, and an upper fix. The first three workouts on the 21 day real time, I am doing over and over again. I'm doing those three workouts every week for the month of July. So today is July 1st. Don't you love it when it's like a new month and like your calendar is nice and pristine? I love that feeling. So this is July 1st. I went ahead and did my total cardio fix and then I'm gonna give it a rest day and then I'm gonna do the lower fix, then a rest day, then the upper fix. Then I give myself two rest days and I start back over with the cardio fix. If on you know, one of these rest days I wanna do yoga or something like that, I absolutely can. And then I'm getting 10,000 steps every day. And I mean every day. Like I don't, I don't care that I get busy or it's hot outside. I'm getting my steps every day. I'm doing that, I'm pushing myself to do that for the month of July. Now I wanted to show you the first week of the three workouts and the last week of the three workouts. So I'm showing you each move that I'm doing and I'm telling you what weight I'm doing or if I had to do any modification. If I give it my focus and my all and I make sure I'm fueling my body properly, make sure I'm eating protein and carbs after my workouts, trying to build muscle, what kind of progress can I get this month of July? My dog's crying, he wants to go outside. So you'll see my next two workout, but then you're not gonna see workout again until the very last week. And I really didn't think about it, but I guess it's only July 1st. I'm gonna do my measurements tomorrow. That way I can tell you, and I'll also weigh in tomorrow, even though tomorrow's not my weigh-in day. That way you can see exactly like this is where I started on my weight. I don't know if I'm gonna tell you my inches, but I'll tell you how much inches I lost. And then we can see what the difference is by the end of the month. And I mean, I'm just focused and driven this month. And I think motivation isn't always there. So while it is there, I'm gonna use it to help drive me for consistency. So that I'm getting in the habit while I'm motivated so that when I'm not motivated, I've already built up the habit and the tolerance to do it 
And so then that's when your, oh, what do they call it? Dedication kicks in. You're not gonna feel motivated all the time. You're just not. I've put it on my calendar. I've scheduled, these are dates with myself. They take 30 minutes. There is literally no reason why I can't spend 30 minutes of my day focusing on this. It helps me get steps in. I did go to the grocery store, a couple grocery stores, which was horrible to do Friday before 4th of July, by the way. But I'm at 5,200 steps and I haven't really walked, you know, like a, I took a couple laps this morning uh, in between my coffee, but I haven't really put effort into walking. And so you'll be amazed how many steps you can get in that 30 minutes. And then if I do that at the beginning of my day, then I kind of know how many steps I need for the rest of my day. So that's what I'm doing this month and I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, it makes me feel like myself again. I used to be, I used to work out a lot over many different sections of my life. I've worked out a lot and I really enjoyed it. And I want to have a gym membership and we will one day, but I'm not strong enough to go lift heavy weights or anything like that. So why go waste money on a gym membership when I can get results using my own body weight, using the few free weights that I have now. And then once my body weight and those free weights aren't as heavy and I can do more, then it's worth going and put money into a gym membership. But if I can't be consistent doing something at my house, I'm not gonna be consistent just because I threw money away at the gym. So let's build these habits now, build the like baseline strength level basically and endurance level so that when the gym happens, we're able to use it to the best of our ability. So I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Almost forgot. I told you what weight I was at and like modifications. Also wanted to let you know, I was breathing heavy the whole time and lots of parts of my body were on fire a good amount of the time. That last, the froggy ab thing where your like legs are up and you're like, I had to modify the last 20 seconds. I had to just put my feet down and just finish in crunches. Those things were hurting my hip flexors real bad. So there's definitely room to grow. Uh, I'm excited to not only see the difference in my body physically of weight loss and inch loss, but even more excited to see results in my strength and those things. So I will see you either when I weigh or on my next workout. Welcome back everybody, it is 4th of July. I'm about to do the upper fix. I am gonna switch when I do the upper and lower fix because from walking those hills yesterday, this part right here of my, you know, my butt, it's still very sore. So I'm gonna give myself one more day before doing legs. So we're gonna do upper fix. And um, yeah, I've had just coffee with collagen so far. I'm gonna do the upper fix and then I'm gonna have a protein smoothie. So I am not having those binge urges because I'm gonna get enough protein first thing in the morning. That's the plan. Let's get started. On this workout, you do five moves once and then repeat those five moves and then continue with the second five moves. First over is the bent over row and I had eight pounds. Eight pounds. That's about as top as I can go. Five pounds is a little too easy. So I went up to eight pounds and it's a little tough, so. This transverse twist is one of my favorites. I have five pounds, it's like Kind of kickboxing you're punching the air this workout is my favorite of the three i am of course modifying my push-ups on my knees and going much slower than them there is no shame in going slowly and doing your best and i stretched it out in this child's pose because ouch 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 and then of course, we get to go straight into plank. I try to hold the regular plank as long as I can, and then when I can't hold it anymore, I drop down to my knees. My butt's a little high here. Pretend like you don't see it. <sighs> now that was actually the second round, so I'm already really tired from the first round. Since I had to change the camera angle, I just left it over there for the full first and then moved it over here for the second. So I only have one more exercise to do before I'm done. These curl presses are another one of my favorites and I have eight pounds. 
And then you get to repeat those five moves. Well, crap. I thought I had one more move to do, but uh, she reset to do different moves. So I guess we get to keep having fun. Make sure with any exercise that you have weights over your head that you have a good grasp on them because that would be horrible if you dropped one. Now I modified these plank to T alternating rows. They have both of their legs up like a regular plank. I am keeping one knee down. You could also do the regular plank but not have weights if you wanted to modify it a different way. Or if this was a little too advanced, you could do the knee down and no weights. You have options. Onto chest press, these are eight pounds. Pretty much if it's working out my upper body, I like it much more than working out my lower body or doing cardio. And these scissor crunches, oh my goodness. I think the last 30 minutes of these, I also had to stop and just do a crunch but I kept it going for as long as I can and I'm not lowering my legs down as much as them. Now the last move, which is the alternating tricep kickbacks. Once you finish these, you're going to repeat all those five moves and then you're gonna cool down. On to lower fix and the last workout of the week. Day, whatever, <laughs> this is the third workout of the week. I switched up when I did my legs and arms, so now this is the leg workout. Just like the other videos, I will let you know what weight or any modifications I'm doing so that when the fourth week comes, I'll share all this again and we can see what difference those four weeks have made in these workouts. I am doing this solely because I promised myself and you that I was going to do this because I have zero motivation to do this right now. So let's get it over with. Also, the lighting. It is what it is, it's already dark. It's nine o'clock at night and we're just not getting this done. So let's get it done. And my daughter's gonna be working out with us. She wanted to uh, and that can only be a good thing. So we're gonna have a little teammate. You warm up and then start with these side lunge, back lunge. So it's gonna be the same leg this full minute. And then when we repeat this move, we'll do the opposite leg. I would do squat with a knee raise. And obviously the lower your butt gets, the harder it is. So if you need to not take your butt down as much, then don't do that. You repeat those two moves and then you go on to the next two. These are curtsy lunges. I actually like these. I don't know what's wrong with me. Just giving you a second angle there. Now on to calf raises. You're just gonna hold at the top if you can. Try to clench your butt and your abs together. That'll help stabilize you. Then repeat those two moves. Now these are the double, the absolute double. Split squats, you're gonna be on the same side the entire minute. Second time, you do the other side. Sumo squats, yeah. On to sumo squats. Kind of like sliding your back down a wall. Try not to put your butt out too much. Repeat those. Single leg tap back. You're doing the same leg. Switch legs on the second round. And this is much easier watching it. It doesn't look that hard when I'm watching it now, but my legs were on fire. They're shaking so bad. You probably can't tell from this angle and repeat those. We got a bonus round, have to move ya. Woohoo, fire hydrants. We're gonna do 30 seconds on each side. And yes, I switched around so you get this lovely angle because that's what you were missing in your day. And now you're not. <laughs> Sweat. Pouring off of me. We're gonna leave. I'm now 
too tired to stay, so I'm just gonna sleep here tonight. Um, but you've seen all three workouts I'll be doing each week, and I'm sure I'll have more to say before the end of this video, so. I got to finish getting my steps. Oh man. I have 1,500 more steps to get, so I'm going to walk around the house and get those. So I'll finish my day exactly how I wanted to. And that's all three workouts done, and now I'll get two days of rest. Bless it. Bless it be. Two days of not working out other than walking around the house and maybe walking outside. Yes. So that's it from us girlies. You want to say bye? Bye-bye. <laughs> Good morning. It is July 8th, which means I have officially finished my first week of July of no alcohol, 10,000 steps a day, three workouts a week, and I was successful on all three of those fronts. I almost didn't get my 10,000 steps, probably two nights, but came in clutch in the end and got them. I actually feel really good. Uh, the first workout made me very sore, especially uh, afterwards. I had walked two days in a row in my neighborhood, which has really drastic hills. So my butt was on fire for a couple days. So I had to switch what workouts I did. I did my arm workout instead of my leg workout. Still got them all three done within the week and I got my two rest days and I'm ready to kill this cardio fix here. I am not gonna record any of this, but I am going to take notes of the weights I'm doing, so that way we can know by the end of this if I can go up in weight or my if my endurance has changed. Um, I can already tell you that my soreness level has decreased because I was really scared after the leg workout that I was gonna be sore because my legs were shaking and on fire during that workout, um, and I, could tell I worked out, they were mildly sore, but nothing to keep me from going to the bathroom or anything like that. More of like a, they feel tired and a little weary, which from what it felt like two workouts before, way better. So I have great hope that after this workout, I might not be sore at all. So that's a big improvement for one month or one week of working out. So I'm gonna get this done and I will see you next time. Oh my gosh. I have you propped on my laundry basket because I don't want to go grab my tripod and my arms are shaking too bad to hold you. Okay, it says I burned 332 calories. I don't know how accurate that any of that is. Just finished my third week of the total body cardio fix. If you could tell from when I first started the video and how sweaty I was, um, I struggled today. And I think it's a good reminder that your weight loss, but also your like gains and stamina, all these things, we think of it as when you lose weight, the number starts up here and it goes down here and it's just this perfect downward slope or straight down angle and it's not it's a bunch of this but you know going down slowly over time and it's gonna be the same with your fitness week two i felt better than today week three on that workout uh, it depends on the day it depends on how much you've eaten it depends on so many things so if you feel like you're doing a really good job and then all of a sudden all of a sudden you feel like you smacked into a wall on your workout and you're discouraged and don't understand why just know that that's normal it's not gonna be a perfect, I did five pounds for three weeks and I'm not eight pounds. Sometimes it's you do five pounds and you do eight pounds and you do five pounds. It's all over the place, but it doesn't mean you're not having progress. So just remember that I'm gonna keep going. I have done well so far, got my steps every single day, um, been on track with my food, everything. So we are, it's actually exciting. I didn't realize we are halfway through the month. Oh, that hurts to move. All right, I haven't had lunch yet, so I'm gonna go eat lunch and I'll see you next time. This is week four, just starting my 21 day fix, total cardio fix, total body cardio fix. This, like I said, this is my fourth time doing it. I am going to record it again on the fifth time I do it because I'm gonna smush all of them together that last week of July. Um, because honestly, I didn't need two days this week to rest. Um, I'm taking four days to rest because I'm doing a workout, taking a break, doing a workout, taking a break, doing a workout, taking two days off. I did not need the two days off. Yesterday, I almost went ahead and did this workout because I know today's going to be busy with me going grocery shopping and trying to film 
and you know actually get ready which is good because i definitely could not have skipped that two rest days at the beginning of the month so even though i'm not I might be lifting slightly heavier here and there but not really i think it's more of the little things like i can go a little bit deeper into my lunge i can go a little bit deeper into my squat those kind of things but then it makes the last half of the workout much harder than it was because I'm using my muscles a little more at the beginning, which I wasn't. So definitely some changes, but they're not big changes. Don't be expecting these giant leaps of change in your body in one month. It took a lot longer than one month to lose muscle and gain fat and all the things. Uh, so it's gonna take a lot longer than that to get back to those places. I've had a cup of coffee and I'm just gonna jump right into my workout so I have time in my day to get everything done. I do feel better when I get this done at the beginning of the day or else it just hangs over my head and like nagging and almost stressful of like, I need to do it, but I don't want to. I need to do it, but I need to do this. Just get it done in the morning and I don't have to worry about it, which is a complete 180 from how I used to work out. I used to work, I'd work until, I don't remember when we closed, five or six, um, and then go straight to the gym after that, work out for at least an hour and then go home and cook. So, and that's where I felt good. I didn't feel good waking up early to, to work out. I felt terrible. But now that I'm a little older, my schedule's different. I'm not working. Uh, things have changed and now I just prefer to wake up, uh, kind of wake up and get going and do it in the morning. Also forgot to mention, there's a new addition in our living room. My 6'3 husband was not super impressed with our short chairs and he wanted a big chair, Cody sized. So he has a Cody Sykes chair now. So if you're like randomly, what the heck? Was that there before? No, it wasn't. We got it yesterday. It's supposed to be here. It got scheduled three times, just didn't show up. I'd have to call the place. Oh yeah, they for they couldn't find it. Oh yeah, we're having a problem getting it. All these things. So it finally came yesterday and I don't have to deal with the problem anymore. So we got the least offensive one we could find. Hopefully it blends in pretty well. Either way, my husband's happy, so. If you cannot tell, it's still very hard. <laughs> still very hard. Drinking chocolate milk after. I read somewhere that it has you know, carbs and protein and it has things like magnesium to help. So it's really good recovery drink and I love chocolate milk. I'm starting to tell when I don't eat before workout. So I think that's gonna be something I need to, oh, I forgot to turn off, 400 calories, it says I burned. I never know how accurate any of that is. I can tell when I don't eat that midway through, I'm starting to have a harder time. That used to not be true. It used to be that if I ate before, it'd make me nauseous. And I think your body changes as you get older, different seasons of life. Um, so what might have been true for you three years ago might not be true for you today. And I think that is one of those things that it's time to reevaluate that decision making for my part. I need to eat something small, not something large because I probably will still get nauseous if I eat something giant. Um, but something like fruit, maybe like an English muffin with some jam and the fruit on the side or an English muffin with some peanut butter. Something like that where I have a little bit of carbs to work with to help fill my workout and then wait a good 40 minutes. So if I have that with my coffee, because I typically don't, I typically just drink my coffee slowly and don't eat right away so if i just tweak that a little bit give myself you know a couple minutes of effort in the morning that way i can fuel those workouts i'm doing a lot of work so to not try to optimize that amount of work is just kind of silly just to be lazy for an extra 15 minutes in the morning doesn't make sense so something i need to work on the second thing i was thinking a lot a lot during that workout about how i can make this something that is helpful for you this isn't just a challenge for me, but this is something a lot of y'all are commenting on. You know, it, it helps you feel motivated in your journey. Maybe we're similar sizes on a similar place in life and it helps motivate you. And I've worked out, like I said, I've worked out a lot over my life. I'm not a personal trainer. I'm not gonna give you tips on how to do correct form because that's not my place. Go to professional, seek out YouTube videos. They are out there. There are websites you can go to that will show you proper form. I'm not the person for that. However, I've been modifying <laughs> a lot of workouts in my life and I feel very confident and comfortable modifying in different ways than what the video is showing you. Normally they give you all the skinny people doing one weight, one thing, and they give you one, you know, 
semi-overweight person doing a different thing to modify. There are dozens of different ways to do go from what the modifier is doing to what the other person's doing. And they don't show you that. So I think a lot of people feel compelled to do one or the other. They don't, they think of this is what someone's telling me to do and therefore I need to do it. They don't think about what their body needs, what their body can do. You're the only one in your body. You're the only one who knows your limits. So this is gonna be a two part series. This is part one. You saw all my befores. You saw me getting through most of the month. I have not drank alcohol. It's the 22nd. It is the 22nd. I have not drank alcohol. I have gotten my 10,000 steps every single day. I have done my three workouts every single day. I've had maybe two days of eating that weren't stellar, but that's life. This is not a uh, crash diet. This is, this is simply the first month sucks. You're more sore. You feel kind of like crap about yourself because you might've been able to do that in the past. You might've been able to do that exact workout and killed it in the past. And you have let yourself, sorry, there's a bug that is just losing its stuff out here. And you're mad at yourself because you have let yourself get to this point to where something that used to be fun or easy is now impossible. And you feel guilt and you feel shame and you feel lots and lots of things. And fighting through that, Pushing through that, learning how to celebrate your victories through that is a challenge. And so I needed that first month to be, this is what I'm doing. I'm doing it hell or high water. I'm doing it whether I feel like it or not. Now, if you're really sore, like I was really sore, so I modified, I switched what day I was doing a workout. You have to have room, room for breathability and flexibility, but do it, do all three workouts. Make them realistic workouts, something that you know you can probably do. So maybe try a couple different things, find out where your level is, then set your goal. Don't just, I'm gonna do this really hard workout and set yourself up for failure. You're not doing yourself any favors. So I needed to, I did a couple different workouts. I found where my boundary was of this is gonna push me, but not break me. And I stuck to those workouts for the month. And I did it religiously for the month so that it takes the feeling out of it. It doesn't matter that I feel bad that this is hard because I set a date and this is, this is a date with myself. I keep what I tell other people gonna do, I'm gonna do. So why can't that be true for me? I told myself I was gonna do it, so I'm gonna do it. Set the date, do it. Take your feelings out of it. And that's what I needed for the first month. My second month will be different and we'll get into that into the part two. I have a lot to say about that journey. And I don't want you to miss it because you only have time for a 20 minute video. That's why I'm breaking them up into two parts. Change is uncomfortable, change is hard, but change is glorious. You are changing because you haven't given up and that's incredible. So come back next Wednesday for the part two where you'll get all of the losses and my victories, what changed, what didn't change and the mindset to get you through it all. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.